Good afternoon, young men. As Coach White said, I'm your new basketball coach, Ken Carr. There is a basketball coach in the USA who is very uh, concerned about student GPA. He used to be a, an American high school basketball star, and uh, if student uh, didn't is meeting the standard, they would uh, be banned from the communication. The first thing is coach culture give student is to be respond to other. Uh, it was disrespectful to the media, uh, but their team was a huge success. Often, lo uh, often losing teams star win, and uh, they also make it is to call it. First, we see that these hardworking players are training seriously, because Coach Carter has taught them how to face all kinds of situations. Coach Carter's leadership motto is very successful. As we can see, he's a serious, strict, and responsible coach who has taught his players that everyone is the same. Here are a few clips that will demonstrate Coach Carter's successful leadership style. Gentlemen, you have failed to up. No, I'm sorry. We have failed. We have failed each other. When you see this clip, do you think the team won? No, they lost. Coach Carter was like a father to every player, and his successful leadership style, as I said before, won the respect of everyone. So. What are Coach Carter and his team's values, and how they demonstrate them? Everybody who watched the movie knows that their primary value will be basketball. But I believe their values are certainly more than that. For the Coach Carter, his primary goal as a coach is to coach basketball. But we also can see that he also cares about players' classes grades. He issued an agreement with the players and says, they must pass the courses before they can play basketball. For the students, the basketball players, they also value basketball. Well, as they spend time with Coach Carter, they also learn to value their families, school grades, and their futures. Coach Carter's movie that fits very well with a crucible example. Every player in the movie is essentially living in life without hope. Hopelessness is undoubtedly the greatest challenge in life, especially for teenagers. For these students, winning or losing basketball is important, but it's more important to discover and surpass themselves in the process of searching for answers. Growth is far more important than success. Coach Carter is key to getting them through when they encounter the crucible. Coach Carter makes them realize that even if they are not cared or valued by anyone, they must never give up on themselves. He made his students have to be average in their academic classes, or they wouldn't be able to participate in basketball practice and games. After reaching the goal, Carter negotiated with school and uh, parents under pressure, <coughs> hoping that they would not let the students give up their passion for basketball. Dream Dreams are precious, but Coach Carter did not let his students immerse themselves in the fancy of pursuing their dreams. He also told them that there are, there are many more fun fundamental factors in life besides of the pursuit of dreams. Without these factors, pursuing dreams will only become buildings without foundations. In the end, Coach Carter teaches his students the true meaning of life. Carter is the support team. In leadership aspect, support team are people who care as an individual as always and help them keep in stable mood and work with their best effort. You've achieved something that some people spend their whole lives trying to find. What you achieve is that ever elusive victory within. 
In this movie, Carter helped play the effective role as support team to his students. He guides, he encourages, and he cheers for his team. As a great leadership textbook, Coach Carter helped present an extraordinary leadership practice with well. Touch and、uh, influence is holding deeply, and it's worth watching.